Evidence for the existence of sharks dates from the Eurydivision period, 420 million years ago, before land vertebrates existed and before a variety of plants had colonized the continents. Many of them are at the top of their underwater food chain, but their populations are threatened by human activities. Cladis Lake is a primitive shark and is known to have been a fast-moving and fairly agile predator due to its streamlined body and deeply forked tail. It lacked claspers, organs found in modern sharks that are responsible for the transfer of sperm during reproduction, it may has used internal fertilization. Orthocanthus is an extinct genus of freshwater shark from a family of prehistoric sharks known as Xenocanths. Members of the genus had a long spine growing from the back of their skull and a very long dorsal fin, which ran all along its back giving it a eel-like appearance. It was likely cannibalistic. Xenocanthus is mainly known because of fossilized teeth and spines, it has been found worldwide. Most of them died out at the end of the Permian during the Permian mass extinction, with only a few forms surviving into the Triassic period. Hybodonts were named and are distinguished based on their conical tooth shape. They were likely slow swimmers and used their paired fins for steering and stabilization. Well-developed wear facets on teeth from Lycidas suggest that some hybodontiforms crushed their food. Hybodus, a typical hybodontiform, was thought to be a slow swimmer but capable of occasional bursts on speed, making it an active predator of fast-moving prey. They had two different types of teeth, suggesting a wide diet and a bony blade on their dorsal fin that probably served a defensive function. While there is no solid evidence of members of the Ptycotus species living among other Europhagus sharks, it is believed that this Cretaceous macropredator was the precursor to crushing plate teeth seen in many similar sharks and rays. It would have been a benthic predator, strained from the upper layers of the oceans that would have been inhabited by mosasaurs and other sharks and was capable of growing to enormous size because of this. The Japanese bullhead shark is a docile, slow-swimming species that feeds mainly on shelled invertebrates and small bony fishes. Reproduction is oviparous, with females laying spiral-flanged eggs in communal nests. It occurs at a maximum depth of 35 meters over rocky bottoms or kelp beds. This species is of little interest to fisheries. Innocuous to humans and hardy in captivity, zebra sharks are popular subjects of ecotourism dives and public aquaria. The World Conservation Union has assessed this species as endangered worldwide, as it is taken by commercial fisheries across most of its range, except off Australia, for meat and liver oil. There is evidence that its numbers are dwindling. The whale shark is a slow-moving filter feeding carpet shark and the largest known extant fish and then the largest non-mammalian vertebrate. The largest confirmed individual had a length of 13 meters and a weight of 22 tons. Despite its size, the whale shark does not pose any danger to humans. Whale sharks are docile fish and sometimes allow swimmers to catch a ride. Its mouth containing 300 to 350 rows of tiny teeth and 10 filter pads which it uses to filter feed. The most distinctive characteristic of the goblin sharks is the long, trowel-shaped, beak-like snout, much longer than those of other sharks. The snout contains sensory organs to detect the electrical signals given off by the shark's prey. As the last member of an ancient lineage, and one that retained several primitive traits, the goblin shark has been described as a living fossil. Various anatomical features of the goblin shark such as its flabby body and small fins, suggest that it is sluggish in nature. Since it is not a fast swimmer, 
the goblin shark may be an ambush predator. Squalacrax was a coastal predator, but also scavenged as evidenced by a Squalacrax tooth found embedded in the metatarsal bone of a terrestrial hadrosaur dinosaur that most likely died on land and ended up in the water. Fossils of Cretoxyrhina suggest that it may have had a similar appearance and build to the modern great white shark. It may have been capable of burst speeds up to 70 km per hour, making it one of the fastest swimming sharks. Nevertheless, it may have faced competition from other contemporaneous predators such as pleosaurs and giant mosasaurs. Regarded as one of the largest and most powerful predators to have ever lived, fossil remains of megalodon suggest that this giant shark reached a maximum length of 18 meters. As the shark preferred warmer waters, it is thought that oceanic cooling associated with the onset of the ice ages, coupled with the lowering of sea levels and resulting loss of suitable nursery areas, may have also contributed to its decline. Scientists suggest that megalodon looked like a stockier version of the famous great white shark. This last shark has no known natural predators other than, on very rare occasions, the killer whale humans are not the preferred prey of the great white shark, but it is nevertheless responsible for the largest number of reported fatal unprovoked shark. Despite its strong swimming ability, sand tiger shark is a relatively placid shark with no confirmed human fatalities. Unlike other sharks, the sand tiger can gulp air from the surface, allowing it to be suspended in the water column with minimal effort. During pregnancy, the most developed embryo will feed on its siblings, a reproductive strategy known as intrauterine cannibalism. Pelagic thresher is characterized by the greatly elongated upper lobes of its caudal fin. Anatomical examination indicates that it is unlikely to be warm-bodied like other threshers, it lacks a retimirable, a blood vessel countercurrent exchange system that prevents metabolic heat from being dissipated into the water, inside its trunk. The basking shark is a cosmopolitan migratory species, found in all the world's temperate oceans. A slow-moving filter feeder, its common name derives from its habit of feeding at the surface, appearing to be basking in the warmer water there. Overexploitation has reduced its populations to the point where some have disappeared and others need protection. Since its discovery in 1976, few megamouth sharks have been seen, with fewer than 100 specimens being observed. It swims with its enormous mouth wide open, filtering water for plankton and jellyfish. It is distinctive for its large head with rubbery lips. It is rarely seen by humans and is the smallest of the three extant filter feeding sharks. The great hammerhead rarely attacks humans. It sometimes behaves inquisitively toward divers and should be treated with respect. The streamlined body of the great hammerhead with the expanded cephalofoil is typical of the hammerhead sharks. Observations of this species in the wild suggest that the cephalofoil functions to immobilize stingrays, a favored prey. With its elongated, eel-like body and strange appearance, the frilled shark has long been likened to the mythical sea serpent. Highly specialized for life in the deep sea, it has a reduced, poorly calcified skeleton and an enormous liver filled with low-density lipids, allowing it to maintain its position in the water column with little effort. Although sluggish in nature, the bluntnose six-jaw shark is capable of attaining high speeds for chasing and catching its prey using its powerful tail. Despite its massive size, it is harmless to humans unless provoked. It resembles many of the fossil sharks from the Triassic period.
The gulper shark is currently a vulnerable species mainly because of exploitation by humans and their abnormally long gestation period and low fecundity, preventing their population from recovering. Gulper sharks reach maturity at around age 12 to 16 years for females. The kindfin shark is a powerful, solitary predator that takes many different types of prey. A fishery targeting this species existed off the Azores from the 1970s to the 1990s, but collapsed due to overfishing and falling liver oil prices. The rapid depletion of the Azores stock is often cited as an example of the susceptibility of deep sea sharks to human exploitation. It takes bites out of animals larger than itself, similar to its smaller relative, the cookie cutter shark. Marks made by this shark have been found on a wide variety of marine animals and even humans. Its name refers to its feeding habit of gouging round plugs. Greenland shark has the longest known lifespan of all vertebrate species, estimated to be between 300 and 500 years, and is among the largest extant species of shark. It has a high concentration of trimethylamine and oxide in its tissues, which causes the meat to be toxic. As with modern sawfish, Oncopristus's eyes were on top of its head, to spot predators rather than prey, and its mouth and gills were under its body. The rostrum most likely would have had electroreceptors to detect food in the water below them like other sharks. It may have raked through the riverbed to find and then eat prey. Modern sawfish have been known and hunted for thousands of years, and play an important mythological and spiritual role in many societies around the world. They are generally harmless to humans.